Hi, my name is Israel Peña, and this is my project Pede Play. I just came back from San Antonio, where I had a lot of fun in the Texas Loop Fest. Noah Peterson did an amazing job of organizing the, the fest. It was really good and lots of fun. And in my visit to Sam Ash, San Antonio, I picked up this guy. Uh, it was a very good deal. I had one of these before, but I had to sell it. Now I have this one again. So I'm going to show you how you can use this with an iPad. And yes, yeah, stick around for that. And please don't forget to subscribe if you like the content I'm making in this channel. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm everywhere. Hit the like button and follow me if you want. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how you connect it. Uh, first, I'm going to try connecting or plugging the, the, the controller, the MPK Mini, directly with this adapter to the iPad. By the way, this is the original Apple one. I really recommend using this if you want to use to make music in your iPad or iPhone. Just get the original one third-party ones sometimes work sometimes stop working and don't work again so just get the original one um, yeah we hate Apple for doing that but it's the best way to make it work so I'm going to plug uh, this to the iPad and everything lights on in the MPK mini but I get this message that this accessory requires too much power. There are two ways that you can make this uh, message go away. One of them is uh, plugging the um, lightning uh, port in the adapter to the wall, to the wall charger, and um, it disappears. And if we open the MIDI uh, devices in AUM, I can see that the MPK Mini is right there. Now if I disconnect it from the wall charger it disappears and I get the message again. Now another way that you can you do that, that you can um, use the MPK Mini with your iPad if you don't have the wall charger around is with an unpowered USB hub. I'm going to connect the MPK Mini controller to the USB hub and then the USB hub goes into the adapter lights on and the MPK Mini is working in the iPad. You don't have to use AUM, I'm just using this because it shows the connections I have and because I want to use um, Tynes. I have Tynes loaded up. I'm going to tell it to receive MIDI from the MPK Mini and it's working. Normally in a gig I would use a powered hub like this one because I would be using an interface to get the sound out from my iPad to the to the venues mixer or to the PA. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, connect the interface and the MK Mini to my iPad. Now we're going to map these controllers to different parameters in the AUM. First of all, um, I'm going to add a bus send for a delay. Now, for an RE1 delay, where are the RE1? Uh, first of all, this is max mix bus and, and then in effects I'm going to use RE1 first the first thing I'm going to do is to map this knob to the same amount for the dragon tines and to do that I click here in channel where it says channel 1 tines click on the control symbol and in MIDI sources I have to choose MPK Mini 2 and now I'm going to choose the send amount click or tap on learn move the knob and it tells me that it's already uh, doing something else 
Um, it's doing times wobble speed. So I'm going to go to times to the wobble speed and I'm going to turn that off. So I'm going to turn off all the parameters from times so we can use them uh, in different for different things. Alright, so now the amount is controlled by this knob. And I'm going to now I'm going to map the rest of these controllers to parameters in RE1. So to do that, I click here where it says channel 3 received from bus A. Click on the control symbol. Uh, I don't have to choose the MIDI source again. It's already uh, the MPK, MPK Mini is already selected as a source, so I don't have to do that again. Tap on RE1 echo tape echo and then I want to do the I want to choose the delay time and click on or tap on learn move the knob that I want to use to control that then feedback tap on feedback tap on learn move the knob the control and I also want to control the warp uh, control so tap on the warp, learn, use this one, this knob, and I also want to control uh, flutter and wow. Um, so I also want to control the reverse um, switch for the tape on, in RE1. So I click it on tape direction, but I want to use this pad. Right now this pad is sending a note. But if I click where in the MPK mini where it says CZ, it stops sending notes and sends CZs. So I'm going to use, I don't know if they're momentary or toggle, let's see. Apparently, it's momentary. So I'm going to use this to control the... Um, I'm going to play a little bit with this, um, with Tynes and RE1, and let's see what happens. Um, As you can see, you can use the MPK Mini to map or to control different parameters in the apps that you're using. I like this thing where the paths and CC um, messages, CC commands, or notes, and they also send program change commands, PC commands. If you want to change the notes, that are sent, the notes that are assigned to the pads or the CC commands or the PC commands, the program change, change commands the pads can send CC or PC commands if you want to change that you need to download an app an editor from Akai, the Akai website and you can select uh, everything and you have two banks 
A and B, and you can assign different meeting notes, uh, CC commands and PC commands for each bank for the eight pads. Um, in the editor, you can also assign a MIDI channel for the keys, which is the same for the knobs, and a different channel for the pads. You also have four banks or four programs in the Akai Mini, which you can um, assign. You, you can choose uh, pressing the prog, holding the prog select, and then you choose what program you want using these four pads, the four top row pads. And um, you can assign different channels, MIDI channels, different uh, notes and command changes and PC changes for each of the um, pads, different uh, CC uh, commands or CC numbers for each knobs, and you can have um, four different programs or patches uh, to choose. Another really cool thing about the MPK Mini is that it has an arpeggiator. So um, I'm going to engage that. You turn where you have a section that says arpeggiator, so you can turn it on or off. I just turn it on and it works like that. You can, ch um, if you hold down the on and off button and you can change the, um, the, the length of the notes, uh, you can choose like one quarter notes up to one, up to 30 second uh, triplet notes. So I'm going to leave it at 16 notes. And you can also choose how many octaves you want the, you can go one octave, two octaves, three octaves, or four octaves. You can also choose if you want to go up or down. Or random. And also latch. You can add swing to that. Fifty-five percent, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, sixty-one, sixty-four percent swing. So yeah, let's unlatch that. And uh, it's also tap tempo. Let me turn up the swing. In swing, fifty percent. It's off. So you have the tap tempo there, and it's real fun. You also have the note repeat. Uh, this works for the pads. Um, if you hold it and you press pad, uh, it repeats the note depending on how you you have set the arpeggiator parameters. So let's choose one quarter notes and. That's how it works. Tap tempo. You can also, even if, if you have the arpeggiator off and the note repeat thing works. Uh, you can also tap the tempo to go faster. Uh, even if it's not uh, on, as I said before. And the full level that um, the no repeat works like most pads, depending on how hard you press the note go it sounds louder or quieter. And you can also press this uh, turn on the full level, which means that no matter how soft or hard you press the pad, it's always going to send the full. Uh, loudness of the note and that's those are oh it also has a, a p 
pitch bend and you can assign the up and down like the that would be the x axis right the you can assign the y axis or the x axis to different uh, parameters using the editor that you download from the Akai website. I think those are the basic functions of this controller. You can use it with any apps in the iPad. So that's how you can use an APK Mini 2 controller with an iPad. It's very fun. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun.